Did you know that music is a universal language? Join me in singing this song about fraction. A fraction is an equal part of a whole, part of a whole, part of a whole. A fraction is an equal part of a whole, an equal part of a whole. Come on everyone! Join me. Let's sing it again. A fraction is an equal part of a whole, part of a whole, part of a whole. A fraction is an equal part of a whole, an equal part of a whole. A fraction is an equal part of a whole. Here I have a shape. I would like to share half of my shape with my cousin Kiana. I am now going to fold my shape in half. Both sides are the same. After folding my shape in half, I now have two halves. One for Kiana and one for myself. This fraction is very important. We use it all the time. You might be wondering what the numbers mean. The bottom number is called the denominator. It tells the total amount of parts. The top number is called the numerator. It tells how many parts are shared from the total amount of parts. Remember that the denominator tells the total amount of parts. Let us count to see how many parts are there. One, two, three, four. The number 4 is the denominator because there are 4 parts. Let us say I gave my sister one of the 4 parts. The numerator or the top number is 1. Because my sister got 1 part of the shape, my sister got 1 fourth of the shape. Let us look at this final example. There are five pets. Two are dogs and three are cats. Remember what a fraction looks like. A line in the middle. The top number is the numerator. The bottom number is the denominator. What is the denominator? Correct. Five is the denominator. It tells the total amount of pets. What fraction of the pets are cats? Three. Awesome. Three is the correct answer. This fraction is called three fifths. We have come to the end of today's lesson. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share for more videos. Bye.